Okay, so now we are on to question number three. Draw two Lewis structures for a compound with the formula C4H10. No atom bears a charge, and all carbon atoms have complete octets. Uh, so let's try to draw two different structures for C4H10. We could have all our carbons just in a line like this. And let's see what happens if we draw out just all of our hydrogens without forming any double bonds or triple bonds. And then we'll count out to see how many hydrogens there are. We have eight plus two, which is 10. So this is one of the structures that can have this formula uh, and it is called butane. So another thing that we could try out is if we had a three carbon chain and then another carbon going down like so and now we'll again fill in all of the hydrogens on the carbons so that they have four bonds in total like so. So this is also C4H10, and if we were to name it, we would number the carbons 1, 2, and 3. So on carbon 2, we have a methyl group. So therefore, this is called 2-methyl, and the 3-carbon chain tells us that it is propane. So 2-methylpropane. And notice that we can no longer move around the carbons in such a way that we have more configurations because if we were to put a carbon group on or another methyl group on either carbon 1 or 3, then we would just end up getting butane again. So these are just the two Lewis structures that you could form with the formula C4H10. Okay, so the junior tutor said that the given compound can be represented as two different isomers, which are butane and 2-methylpropane. They calculated the number of valence electrons for both of them, and then they got 26, so they have butane and 2-methylpropane. Okay, so the solution is correct. Thank you.